I feel pretty confident in giving these headphones the title of the best value Xbox headphones there are. And that's with me not really having tried many others, but I don't really see how you can make headphones that are better value than this is at £90 and still pack in all of the features that it has. And that's despite the drawbacks that it's got that I'm gonna get into in this video. So I've recently got an Xbox Series X. They're still pretty much sold out everywhere. So I was just really lucky when I just went onto Argos one day and it just so happened to be on. And there was also no way I was gonna be paying 600 pounds to get it from CEX. So yeah, I luckily got that. And my friend who's also got an Xbox Series X, Recommended getting these headphones because he wanted to voice chat with me when we play games and stuff like that So yeah, here they are and now that I do regularly play games with him while I'm using these headphones I don't hear any popping from his side. His voice sounds very clear um, He hasn't complained about me, you know, sounding unclear or anything like that either And there haven't been any of those times where I thought the microphone was on but it wasn't because if the microphone is on, there's a little light that shows up and it appears just out of your vision. I'm not really seeing it when I'm looking straight ahead, but if I glance to the left slightly, it's just about in the corner of my vision. This bit at the end is quite adjustable, you can adjust it however you want, but my friend did say that it isn't in the best of places for him because his cheekbone covers it, but your mileage will very much vary. For me, it's pretty much perfect. Of course, to be able to mute the microphone, there is a button to do that, and that's located at the back of the headphones. I always keep mine on though, and I've got a specific reason for that, which I'll be going into in a bit. As for comfort, they also feel really great. They are a bit tight at first, but they do loosen up over time as you wear them, as is the case with many of the other headphones that are out there. The ear cup and the headband are nice and soft too. They've got this nice foamy texture. My brother did say that after an hour of using them or so, when we were watching a film on the Xbox, he did say that they did start to get a bit heavy. I have played for hours on end with these headphones and I haven't had that issue. So again, your mileage may vary. To switch on the headphones, there's a little button at the back that you can press and that'll switch them on, making a really obnoxious sound. You do get used to the sound over time. It still doesn't sound any less obnoxious though, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's really easy to find. It's the same button that you use to pair the headphones by just holding it down. And you also switch it off by pressing it for not so long when you want to switch it off. And the kind of big thing about the hardware of these headphones, which I haven't seen on any other headphones, I haven't used that many, but I, it feels unique to me, is one of the sides is a volume dial, so you literally rotate it to do the volume. And at this side, there's a audio balance dial. And this basically balances between the person that's speaking to you when you're doing voice chat, and your game. So if you want to prioritize hearing your teammate, you can bring the volume of the game down and vice versa, basically. There is another specific time that it can come in handy though, and I'll talk about that again in a bit. There aren't any play and pause buttons on these headphones though, which is kind of annoying to be honest. I didn't think it would annoy me as much as it did because I don't ever really use it with my wired headphones. But when you're using this wirelessly and you want to quickly pause a song on Spotify or whatever, and you know, the only option to get to it is a controller that might be behind you switched off. It can be a bit of a pain that you can't just, you know, tap on the side of it or whatever and it pauses it. It's not the end of the world, but I do think, you know, whether it's with the button at the back or whether it's, you know, a little touch surface on here, I do think they could have implemented a play and pause button. It may have brought the price up a bit, I'm not really sure, but it is something that I miss. These headphones also don't have a headphone jack, which may be annoying to some people. I personally don't mind it at all. Maybe that's because I've got a wide pair of headphones that I can go to, but, but for me, these headphones are mainly to just connect to the Xbox, connect to the computer too, I'll get into that in a bit. Um, and obviously you're not going to be getting as good of an audio quality as you would do if you do plug headphones in. There just is that quality gap going over Bluetooth. But for how I use it, that doesn't really bother me at all. The battery life on these headphones has also been good to me too. I haven't really had battery anxiety throughout using it. You know, when it's kind of getting low, I'll just, you know, play until the end of the day and I'll plug them in overnight. I just do that sort of thing. The few regular annoyances that I have with these headphones are the fact that when I'm putting them on, sometimes, you know, I'll pick them up and I'll turn the dial and that will change the volume. Not too big of a deal, but 
it, it can be annoying sometimes. There was actually one time though where these headphones just froze. It wasn't to do with the battery running out. I had literally just charged the battery. But yeah, for some reason, um, at first the light wasn't working. Then when I plugged it in, the light was flashing, but it still just wasn't turning on. So what I had to do to fix that is to basically put the wire in um, without the wire being plugged into power, then hold the mute and the power button and then plug the wire in and they immediately boosted up after that. I don't know why it happened, um, but it was kind of a bit worrying. I thought I'd have to send them off to Microsoft or something or let them die out or whatever. But um, it hasn't happened to me since, it hasn't happened to me before that. So hopefully it's just a one-off. But speaking about dials, I really like the audio balance dial. It's come in handy a lot more than I thought it would do. So obviously there's the main purpose of the audio balance dial of changing the volume between the game and the person you're speaking to over voice chat. But there's actually a second use for it and that's when you're connecting to a separate Bluetooth device. You can actually use this dial to kind of balance the audio between both of them. So how you do it is basically when you connect the headphones to both via Bluetooth and you're playing audio through both of them, you can adjust the volume separately on the device that you are connecting to that isn't the Xbox. And then you can use the audio balance dial to bring up the volume of the game and to lower it. So it's not as good as what you're getting when you're just using the Xbox and you're switching between voice and game, but it does let you bring down the game volume and keep the um, second device's volume as it is, which can be useful in a lot of cases. I do use it for that all the time. And talking about multiple devices at once, something that I really love about these headphones is they can, in fact, play audio from multiple devices at the same time. And I'm not talking about it in the sense that the Bose sound like twos could, and then they would be connected to the other device, but they wouldn't play any audio from the other device until you stop the audio on one device basically only streaming from one device at a time. These headphones don't do that. They literally bring in two streams at once and they play audio from those two streams at a time. All of this happens with no latency whatsoever, pretty much. I haven't noticed any latency. It's literally, it literally feels as if you were getting the audio from the same device. But it is in fact two different devices. It works really, really well. And connecting to these devices is really easy to do. On the Xbox, it's just a case of connecting as you would on a controller. You just hold down the button on the headphones and you hold down the, or you just press the pair button on the Xbox and they both just link together. Exactly the same as what you do with the controller. The only thing with the headphones, as with the controller actually, is that you might have to update them beforehand. But other than that, it's very seamless. On the PC, it's the same sort of thing actually. You hold down the pairing button on the headphones and at least for me, there was a little prompt that showed up on my computer that I just pressed on and then I pressed allow on and that just connected the headphones without me having to do anything else. I'll go into that horrible Bluetooth section in Windows. And then to get the headphones to work across both devices, you literally don't have to do anything. They just work between them is really, really good. There's not really many other settings that you need to change with these headphones, but the settings are there on the Xbox if you do want to. To get to the options to configure the headphones, you go to settings from here, then you go to accessories, and once I switch the headphones on, <laughs> it'll then show up here. So if you go to configure, there's the equalizer option, which I'll get to at the end. There's auto mute, which mutes your microphone if it's not getting any audio input. And there's a low, medium and high setting for that. There's the mic light, which is how bright the light is, which again, low, medium, high. And mic monitoring, which if you've used the AirPods Pro, it's basically the transparency feature. So this will bring in sounds from the area around you and will basically let you hear what's going on outside, even if you've got your headphones fully on. And again, low, medium and high. For all of these settings other than the equalizer, I like to keep them on default, which is low, medium, medium. But by default, these headphones are very bassy, so I do like to bring the bass down on the equalizer. And I obviously don't put on the bass boost. And by the way, if you don't understand what these are, this is basically the bassy sounds um, at 125 kilohertz. And 
Over here is the highs, basically. There's a lot of guides online if you don't understand it. But bass aside, I do think it would be very hard to find any headphones that sound this great and work this great at this price point. I've used these for movies, they sound really great for those. Again, I don't think they're as, as good sounding as the Audio Technicas I've got, but it's very, very close. And to say that it's the price it is, I do think it's really impressive. They do technically support Dolby Atmos. I haven't really noticed any difference with that. I mean, you're not exactly going to be getting, you know, the same experience as you get in a Dolby Atmos cinema or something like that from these. They just don't do that. The, the audio does sound good and the spatial audio is really good. So when you're in game, you do know where people are around you. I don't know though, like Dolby Atmos for headphones just doesn't really make sense for me. But they do sound really good. And for £90, again, I just don't think you're going to be getting all of the things that you're getting with these headphones at that particular price. Which is why, even though I haven't tried a whole load of Xbox headphones, in fact, I haven't really tried any, I just find it very hard to believe that you'll get a microphone this good, a sound this good, you know, these audio dials and this comfort for this price. And that's not even to say the feature where you can use two audio streams at once, which is very, very good. I just don't see that you'll be able to get that with anything else at this price, which is why I definitely recommend these. You're not going to be able to plug them in. There are some times where you have to repair these to the Xbox. That's happened to me maybe three or four times in the time I've had it. There was that time that it freezed up and there's no headphone jack. But for me, the disadvantages aren't big enough where I wouldn't recommend this because when it does work, it works really, really well. And I mean, even if it didn't have many of those features, I, I would still recommend it. But with those features, it just seems like something that you just should have if you play the Xbox with anyone else and you want to just get headphones that will just work and will give you a good gaming experience when you're playing with others or if you want to watch a video while you're playing a game on the Xbox or something like that. So anyway, that's it for this video. If any of you have these headphones, please let me know what you think about them. And if you do want to get them, they're in the link in the description down below. But for now, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all stay safe out there and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.